So, Hadrilene. And the rest of the old ones. So stone what is this place, Hadrian? Hadrian, how did I get here? When you destroyed Morag, you destroyed her magic as well. The world she had created, the source stone, crumbled into nothingness. All trapped within her. I used my magic to open the portal from the collapsing source stone into this astral pocket. The temple place of refuge between that world and your own. I am glad you found the portal and escaped with your life, warm blood. The words of power are broken, and my magic is fading. Existence. And this astral pocket will also collapse. Pass from this existence. Are you dying? The time of the creator race is over. Just as there was no place for Morag, I have accepted this. You have faced Morag and the Old Ones and triumphed. Even the foul and ancient magics of the Dark Queen could not stand against your might. The savior of Neverwinter, one. Of not just your own world, but a thousand others that would have fallen to Morag's armies. I only did what I had to be done. You could have faced Morag's power and survived. But even though the threat of the creator race, your work is far from done. Your legend and fame will continue to grow, spreading throughout the north. But Morag will not be the most dangerous foe you face in your lifetime. As you become ever more powerful, so will those who seek to destroy you. What are you talking about? Who seeks to destroy me? There are men who will try to steal that which you have worked so hard for. And others will seek to forge their own legend by destroying you. The enemies will band together. They will strike when you least expect it. That is the price of fame and fortune. More than this I cannot say. For my magic has grown weak with the destruction of the words of power. And the mists of time cloud my vision. Quickly now, warm blood. I cannot sustain this astral pocket much longer. The portal behind me will return you to your own world. I thank you for all you have done. Never again will I be a word slave. Go through the portal, so that I may finally pass to my long-awaited eternal rest. 
And that is Neverwinter Nights. As soon as you go through this portal, it cuts to the final cutscene of the game and then into the credits. So, I'll have to sign off now. Um, of all the LPs I've done, this is the first one that I really feel like I have to give a review for. Um, <laughs> I, all I can say is this is probably the most perfect game I have ever played, have ever had the privilege of playing. I mean, think about it, how deep you got to know your own, like, I guess, the, your own henchmen, uh, just basically the, the depth of the story itself, all the characters, um, just basically the ability to basically create any, any creature, any, any class of warrior you could ever possibly want, like, like thousands and maybe even millions of different combinations of characters with all the different classes. Obviously, I had to choose one that I could that I could uh, that I could hold my hand, kind of thing, all the way through it. And wow, did it ever not disappoint in the least! Um, I, I don't know what else I can say. I, I, easily, this thing, I, I'll give it 11 out of 10 in terms of you know just the game itself. Um, <laughs> it's one of those games where even though I've defeated it like this, I actually kind of want to go back and start over again with this character and see what I can get. Uh, in terms of like just doing it completely solo, like uh, you know how at the very beginning I had to I had to have at least one henchman, I had to have Sharma with me occasionally to uh, help me out, but I'm gonna see if it's possible to do it completely solo. It probably is. It'll just I'll just have to modify like uh, my willingness to buy potions and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, and uh, obviously this is definitely something where a game where you know you beat it one way and you think I want to see what it's like to go through as a, a spell. Uh, like, uh, a spellcaster, or maybe an elf, like an archer elf, or something like that, or cho choose a, another cl another race altogether with different uh, uh, benefits and uh, different pros and cons of that race as well to uh, modify the the experience itself. So yeah, it's definitely uh, it definitely leaves that feeling. That play the replay value is definitely way up there. Probably one of the highest replay values you could ever ask for in a game. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing it, even though I had pretty much had to break it up the entire the entire game up into, like, three different LPs <laughs> just because of how long it was. But, yeah, this is this game is by far one of the most well-done games I have ever played, one of the most complete games story-wise, action-wise, just just overall fun building, building Kel Davis up. And his adventures are not done. Uh, I will eventually get into Shadows of Undren Tide and then Horse of the Underdark, but uh, those will be in a, a secondary role, because uh, the next LP will be the last main one on this channel for me. Um, so anyways, before we go through that portal, we need to export this character. Now, in order to do that, first I'm going to save it one last time. Um, yeah, the end game. There we go. Alright, in order to do that, save character. Quit to the menu. Now I'm just gonna go in here just to uh, the pre-made characters, just to show you what it looks like. And Cal Davis. Now this is what it will look like for you. Like I just exported it, but I just exported it to make it come up like this. I had already had everything deleted. But yeah, this is what it will look like for you uh, generally uh, after you've created your character. It'll show up here, but it only show up. It will not show up like at the level 17 like mine is, but. But what will probably happen is you'll have the the, ba the very beginning um, stats of your character there. So in order to fix that, you gotta load it up again, and then uh, you'll have. To, oh, hang on! No, 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 no. Um, okay, this is uh, when you. This is what'll happen when you you say you export your character, and then it'll. So yeah, when you do that, it actually saves it again as a second character, but it, with a one at the end of it. I want to have it just like Kel Davis is like that. Obviously, if I'd, uh, you know, I already deleted them, but this thing only had Kel Davis as a fighter, so a level one fighter. I didn't want that. So in order, in order to fix this, all you have to do is delete both of these. And load it up. Save the character again. And this should come up with Kel Davis 2. If it doesn't, it'll be even nicer, but I'm pretty sure it will. Yeah, see, Kel Davis 2, even though Kel Davis, so without the number, is gone, it's, it saves it as the next one in line. But if you were to delete this, after you. 
after this one, that's when it checks to see if the the base the the, uh, the base one is there, like the base name is there. So I just delete this one and export it again. So you should only need to export it twice. The only reason I exported it the first time is to show you what it uh, looks like, uh, you know, what it would look like when you go into yours without uh, exporting it. So export it again for I guess yeah that would be the second time, right? Um, so one, two, okay, no, this would be the third time, sorry. Yeah. Alright, and then just uh, double check that this worked. And Kel Davis without a number, and he's level 17. So this is the character I will be using when I go into Shadows of Undertide when I get there. Um, so yeah, I'll be loading this thing up, and we'll be continuing the adventures of Kel Davis. But until then, let's watch the final cutscene. And the credits. And again, I thank you for everybody that had the patience to the patience to stick with me through this LP. I mean, I I, I don't even know how many sub subscribers I started with when I started this thing, but all I know is that I've got <laughs> got a few now. So uh, yeah, so I hope really hope you enjoyed watching this, and I hope you enjoyed the final cutscene and the credits. This is Sirak 1983 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one. In the end, victory. Without Morag, the Source Stone crumbled, and the great empire of the Old Ones was finally laid to rest. The deaths of these ancients could be felt throughout Neverwinter. Deprived of Morag's influence, the invading army faltered. The siege was soon turned. The toll of the battle had been high, but Neverwinter would not be consumed by grief or regret. Too many had already made that mistake. The city would rebuild and move forward. And what of the honored champion who had fought so hard while others fell? Their story does not end here, for this is a world of infinite tales. New adventures still await, and new legends are yet to be forged.